Previously, we talked a little bit about ASCII art and we used the XMP tag and the listing tag to be able to create it without destroying the formatting of the artist or of the website or whatever created the ASCII art. So this was the example that I used. Now we can do some other cool stuff with that listing or that XMP tag as well. It used to be that if you wanted extra space between your paragraphs, like if I open this, I used to be able to create extra space between these sections by just stacking paragraph tags, but it doesn't work that way anymore. So like if I put an extra P tag in here, or maybe a couple, and I save it and I refresh, no change. Even if I put spaces in here, no change. It's not rendering those elements. You used to be able to do that. That used to create extra space to kind of separate things out. Now we could put a period in here instead because that's not a space. That's not white space because HTML ignores white space. That will work. But what if I don't want dots in there? So instead of paragraph tags, I could use the XMP tags. So I could put a couple line breaks in there and save it and refresh it and it will do something similar. And that gives me some nice separation between those elements, which personally I think helps, right? I think that helps. And I would do the same thing over on that other section, the glossary. Now using the listing tags or the XMP tags, we can do some other cool stuff too. Right now everything is kind of like stuck in this completely vertical layout, right? But if instead I were to use the listing tag, I could customize that a little bit. So right now if I refresh it, not much is gonna change. Well, a little bit changed. It actually pushed that way over there because it doesn't do any line breaks now. And not only that, but it's recognizing the line breaks that are in the text itself too. So I might need to remove some. So like if I delete that and I delete that and that and that, ooh, we don't want that opening and closing around that. We want this to close before that next tag opens because that's weird. I mean, it's still rendered, but not good. So if we refresh, there we go. It's a little closer. Now there's still some extra line breaks in here because of this. So if I save and refresh, there we go, it's a little bit closer, and I can add in my own line breaks. So maybe I want a line break here, and a line break there, and a line break here, and a line break there. And if I save it and I refresh, I can start to customize where those break. Now that's not really using HTML, and it's a little unfortunate that I have to do it that way, but I can do it that way. And if I want to maybe include some visuals next to this little information, I could do that too using some of those same things. So like maybe I put some ASCII art next to this, right? So let's find, let's find another ASCII generator. So in addition to just text generators, you can also find like convert image to ASCII. Some of these work better than others. We'll, we'll see what happens. That one's okay. I don't like this one on the left, especially because we don't have any color, but that one could work out okay, uh, especially if I have a white background. So I already have some graphics here that I have permission to use, or rather I have a stock account. Um, what do I want to put next to it? Let's put this turtle. So file new, I'm just gonna paste that turtle in there. And he's a little small. So let's make him a bit bigger. I think that looks good. Well, maybe a little bigger. And maybe have him face the other direction. There we go. Now you might not have access to the software. Um, but you can go find graphics on Google or wherever because right now you should just be doing this kind of on your own. I'm not using Google Images because I don't want to have to worry about permissions and possibly using something that's not 
okay for me to use. So I'm using this one because I know it's okay. So we'll call him turtle.png. And because it's for screen 72, and I can close this now. Clear. All right, there's my turtle. Here's the website. Drag him there, size five. Hmm, I'm not sure what that means. Generate. Oh, he's big. Um, let's try like size one. Pictures, sorry. Hmm. Oh, it just made him smaller. It didn't actually, okay. What happens if I click this? Um, see, he's he's not small. He's large again. We'll try a different one. Let's try this one. There's my turtle. Image width. That's a nice feature. Convert. Okay, he is big. Let's try a smaller one. That was 100. Let's try 20. Convert. Hey, that's not too bad. He doesn't look much like a turtle, but uh, that's all right. So I can't just copy and paste all of them in because it's going to mess up my code here, right? But what I can do instead is I can put it next to it. Now, these h3 tags are a little bit of a problem because what h3 tags do, or really any heading tags do, is they create separation. That h3 tag is taking up this whole line all the way across, regardless of whether or not I'm using it. So I can't really put the turtle in there because, well, let me show you. If I grab that first line and I put it next to the h3 tag, like so, and I grab this next line, and I put it next to the hello, and maybe a, a tab, and maybe a tab there. So then if we open this with Safari, see what it did? The h3 tag like dissected my turtle. So what I can do instead is let's get rid of the h3 tags and the subheading will just be based on the fact that it is on a line by itself and now we can actually sort of see the turtle as we build it so then I can grab this line and put it in front of here let's bring this back up in the tab and this next line and a tab and this next line will go there we need to delete this h3 tag again and that goes there and a tab and a tab, and we just keep going down the page like this. All right, so slight issue. My turtle is quite a bit taller than my text, but that's okay. He's not by a whole lot, and I can move this text down. So, Let's put that there, and this can go there. And if I save it, and I open this with Safari again, there we go. Now I've got a little turtle next to this little message. It's not great, but it's a way that you can sort of create some graphic elements to your 
text space only page before we actually get to image tags. Now the other thing that you could do with this too is if you have a fairly good sized website, instead of just using this to put a visual element next to some text, you could instead create a menu system here, right? So you could have these be links to different pages on your website with some sort of decoration next to it. There are other decorations that you can find or create as well where maybe you have like some sort of little border around the menu or around some text. So there's some interesting things that you can create once you start playing with the listing or the XMP tags with the concepts and the ideas of ASCII art.